My name is Vahid Chitsos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. So it's an honor to be here. So thank you so much. I am Monica Valero. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and success coach, and I help women find their purpose and uh, be profitable with it. As you can hear, I have an accent too. <laughs> I'm from Italy, born and raised, but I've been in the U.S. for more than 10 years now, and I live in Los Angeles. So yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. So Monica, are you on your Wi-Fi or are you on your data connection? Uh, you know that I don't know. Would you mind me to check a second and I'll let you know? Yes, check and let me know. You might need to see because it's a little bit pixelated, so we can't see you really clear. Before huh. I start, I just want to make sure if you can get a better connection. That way we'll make sure that we get you. All right, we already lost Monica. All right, cool. I am on the Wi-Fi. Okay. So let's drop Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is no good then. All right. Let's see if we can get her back. If not, I can just add you one more time. What about now? There we go. Let's, let's try now. I think it will look, it, it looks better already. Fantastic. Better? Let's try. Yeah, yeah, so okay. perfect. Just okay. hold it right there. That's perfect. So let's awesome. dive into it. Hypnotherapist, what is that? And what are the type of individuals that might need your help? So I work with men and women, but especially women, but uh, with men as well. I've had a lot of clients. And what I do is rapid transformational therapy, so hypnotherapy, amongst other tools that I use into coaching, etc. I don't like to define myself, to label myself as a coach, you know, because there's a stigma on the coaching, especially here in California, you know, everybody's a coach. So I just say what I do. I just say what I help people with. So hypnotherapy can be used for a lot of things, right? It can be used for addictions, can be used for uh, pain control, for migraines, for a lot of trauma, PTSD, for a lot of things. But what I'm specializing, what I've specialized also, because it's closer to my heart, is to help people be more successful at life. Because you know, my background, I came to the U.S. because I used to be an artist, uh, a comedian, and an actress, producer, and writer, you know, so I went for the Hollywood dream, and I lived in New York five years, and here in LA, and I've chased success for, for my whole life, and for a long time, I didn't achieve it, and I didn't know that achieving success was a mindset thing. I thought it was like a, just an American way of saying things, you know, just all BS. And then when I started to change my mindset, but not just mindset, really healing the whys I was feeling a certain way, I was thinking, acting, and receiving certain things. So everything else changed. So I started to, for example, perform in the comedy store for three years. I, I achieved a certain amount of success. And I was like, hold on, wait a minute. What do I want to do in life? And that's when I found my purpose. And my purpose is to help other women, other people to find theirs, to find their passion. It doesn't have to be a one purpose because we all have many, right? I'm a mother. So being a, my purpose is also raising my daughter, right? But to find what you really love and you're meant to do and just make money with it and find out why you didn't make money so far with it. And not only about strategies, which is great. I love marketing, right? But more on the healing, I basically heal the money story that you might have. And so I here's, have here's you. My, my question for you. Based on you doing, you know, coaching and sessions with a lot of different individuals, what would you say is the common denominator for Self individuals worth. that are not successful yet? What's the Self one thing that keeps coming up? Not feeling enough. Not feeling enough is the, is the root cause of everything and you know that's why i always say that mindset is not enough because you can think about oh i'm gonna change my mindset my mindset i'm a hustler uh i used to be a hamster on a wheel wheel right i'm gonna work i'm gonna get up at six in the morning and work i'm gonna work out i'm gonna work on my business until midnight i get it right but then you cannot achieve success that way why because you have an unconscious belief not conscious because nobody's going to walk around and say, hey, I don't feel worthy. You're not going to admit it to yourself. It, it might even not know that, right? But maybe along the way when you were born or 
because of your parents, because of our teacher, who knows what happened, right? I don't know. They might not know it either. There was something that made them feel not enough, made them feel not worthy of success. And not, maybe nobody believed in them. That's why I'm the, you know, the first cheerleader, the first fans of my clients, because they need somebody to believe in them. But not just that, I help them heal that story to take their power back. And not every kind of hypnotherapy does that. Hypnosis does that. Uh, and I'm not speaking for others, but I know that the type that of coaching that I do, the type of hypnosis that I do is to really take the power from your childhood, from your trauma, from, it might not even be a trauma. It might have, you know, you can be a super healthy person, you know, being raised by a great family. But then there were a few episodes that you will remember only through hypnosis, through your subconscious mind, that might have a weight on your daily life and on your success. Does it make sense? No, it does. So what would you say is the second common denominator for a lot of people not achieving the level of success that they should? Confidence. Confidence for really? sure. Mm -hmm. A lot of people um, think they're confident. Like I did stand up for years, right? Uh, in another language, like in English, imagine that. And I wasn't confident. I needed a glass of wine to go on stage at the beginning because I, I needed that, you know, like I was scared as, you know, I'm not going to say bad words, but like I was really scared, you know. And because, for example, when I was little, I didn't really have a voice. I was the, the youngest of the family. And I been like, they told me to shut up. Oh, you're little, so go to your room, right? And it's normal, like that's what you say, you know, the older brothers and sister, that's what you say each other. But that stayed with me. And with time, I had to learn how to be more confident, how to own my body, how to own myself. And also the belief that the possibilities, you know, that's very important. Like believe that it's possible for you. So it's all about self-worth, confidence. And, you know, I'm very spiritual. I don't know if you are. I think you are because reading uh, the book that you always talk about, I, you know, that I love exactly. It's right there, right? Um, I am a very spiritual person. So I really believe in the law of attraction, but not only the law of attraction. I believe in the law of action. I believe in the hustle and believe in the alignment and believe in the flow on letting things just work out the way they are supposed to without interfering with that. So with all these tools, I changed my life. I used to be, I used to live in Hollywood, actually, Little Armenia, because you're from, you, you know, what area is that? In a studio with roaches. I was clean, but there were roaches in the building. But that's what I could afford, no parking. I was dating around because, you know, I was single. Uh, and never found, never found the right person. I was having acting gigs, but not exactly what I wanted. And I did a lot of work on myself, a lot of mindset work, which is really important. You have to start with that. But it depends on the level that you do it. Because one thing is knowing it from your conscious mind. You know, we are talking consciously. But one thing is really feeling it, you know. And then my life completely changed. I met the man of my dreams. I found my purpose in life that I thought it was acting, that I thought it was being on the red carpet. Who cares right now, right? Um, and I, I just like love what I do. I make money with what I want, with what I love. I just had a baby seven months ago. I traveled the world with my family. My life completely changed. I used to attract garbage people around me, but not because they were, you know, they might have been also nice with others, but because it was my vibration, my energy around it. You know, my mindset, my, I had to do a lot of healing. So yeah. <laughs> That is awesome. That is awesome. I mean, I think, I think it's the discovery that you need to do self-development on yourself and work on yourself is the first key. The day that you realize you're not broken, you right. need to upgrade yourself, right? And you deserve that upgrade and you are 100% in control of that upgrade. I think that's the day you start looking around and start trying to find out what's going on because every book, every guru, every coach, every mentor that you see, they talk about mindset, reading the books. 
correcting your vibration, surrounding yourself with good people. But then my question is, let's talk reality. Mm -hmm. Reality is, if you live in LA, I don't know about other places, so I'm not going to assume, I want to talk about LA. If you live in LA, there are certain areas of LA that there are more business-minded people, and there's some sectors that are more employee mindset, and there's sector that people are just, I don't want to call them losers, but I think they're wasting their time and their precious life. They're not doing anything with it. They're just, they're just normal routine. Let me just go do something, make some money, pay my rent, and that's it. So some people really have a hard time crossing over the, the city boundaries where, you know, if you can't afford it, you can't live in the right neighborhood, so you can't get the right associations. But you going through that challenge and wanting to do that, I think that's way really important versus just getting there. I think that journey that, you know, okay, when I surround myself with these people, and it happened to me 12, 13 years ago, I started showing up to a location where I was, when I was coming out, I was always motivated, pumped up, wanted to make more money, wanted to do things, this, that, ethically, all of that stuff, right? And then I had other bunch of friends where every time I would go, it was more like I felt out of place. I was like, I like this better. Yeah. So when I realized that the environment is also important, sure. with a matter of three months, all my, not on purpose, just because I was hanging out with this group, this group just completely disappeared. They stopped calling, they stopped texting, they stopped doing, and after like a year or two, I was looking at the pictures, I was like, where are all my friends? But then I realized, I am this, changed. So I changed, changed. Mm -hmm. so my friends changed, now I got a bunch of new people, so I immediately got a camera, I took some pictures, and I put it in, I was like, okay, these are the new ones, I can't be looking at the old ones. I still see them once in a while. We say hello. You know, if they need me, they'll call me. But on a daily basis and weekly basis, we're no longer associating like that because I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Because I spend so much money, time, energy on myself, I'm afraid to be contaminated. Right. Well, they say that we are also, you know, the product of the five people that we hang out with the most, right? So let me ask you a question. What made you want to change? I think it was me seeing where they're at and what I could do because I think at the time was my ego. I kept looking at them. I'm like, hmm, I'm smarter than them. I'm definitely better looking than them. I got all these things going for me. If this guy is making this much money or he has this much success, why can't I do it? So initially it was like I could do better than them and I can strive to kind of have a Challenge. competition mm -hmm. gauge and I was like I could do this but I can't do it with this group because I can't do all of that right mm -hmm. got it so, so you believed in yourself somehow there was a part no, of definitely okay. definitely and and when I mean I believed in myself it was more my work ethic mm -hmm. I knew that I'm not the smartest guy in the room but I knew my work ethics is is gonna what's gonna get me that edge because everybody else over there didn't work as hard as they could have worked. So I was like, I got one thing for me. If I just put more hours, I can outperform their IQ. And that was the case. But that's not the case all the time. Sometimes you need the IQ, but in that specific case. Situation, it was. So that's how you, <laughs> you, know? you got out of your, of your situation of where you were before, correct? Definitely. So my question for you is this. Yeah. What are one or two... Um, what are one or two tips that you could give to entrepreneurs to start working on that mindset shift? Well, you know, I, there are so many. I, mean, I, I try to is it, is it read so, books? Is it get the right mentor? Is it go through a well, hypnosis? It's a like, combination what are the of those. Steps? But you know, not everybody can afford a mentor, which is BS. But that's our, that's what I used to think too. You know, I actually used to serve tables and that's how I paid my first coach. You know, I pick up more shifts and that's how also my life had, had changed even more after that. I actually hired a new coach um, yesterday and then I'm going to be working in June because it's always an investment, right? But it's hard for a lot of people who never, who don't know you, don't know me, right? 
to make that investment at the beginning. So definitely work with a coach, work, working with a mentor. Just shop around. Um, they have a lot of freebies like I do, for example. If you don't know what you want to do in life, I have a free resource. I'm going to put it uh, maybe in the comments or whatever you prefer. To It's free. It's a free guide. And uh, you, because, you know, I help people to be successful with their passion. But what I've encountered is that a lot of women, a lot of men also, they don't know what to do. You know, they go to a job nine to five and they were like, I don't know what I'm meant to do. Am I meant to do something? Because, you know, they never really thought about that. So that is the first thing. Get all the freebies as you can. And then I know it's cheesy to say, but you need to learn how to love yourself. You need to learn where and when your confident, confidence went away because I'm not talking about cockiness or being arrogant because I was like so confident on stage. I, if you met me, I was like, wow, I, I had words for everybody. Sassy, you know, not a completely different person because I listen because I don't, I don't have to talk over people. I can communicate. It's a com di completely different way of communicating. And when you do that, that's how you start receiving, you know, but uh, definitely to to dig in and see why you are not um, you don't feel worthy of success because if you're not successful there's a part of you that is telling you you're not worthy of it and after that hire somebody because or you can do the the work you can read um, Napoleon Hill's book you can read all the books that I have here that it took me 15 years right to get to the point that I am today you can do either or. So many YouTube videos, so many Instagram uh, interviews, IG, TV. You can do that. But it depends on how fast you want to go there. You want to get there, right? So I think that we all need a mentor. And it doesn't mean that we, I mean, we all have to learn, right? We all have to, from point A to reach point B. Because I'm sure you have goals still. I'm sure you are successful, but you still have so many goals. I have so many goals. And in order to do that, sometimes I don't see them with my eyes. I need a coach. I need a mentor. I need somebody else who shed a light and walk with me. I will be walking, but he's going to or she's going to show me where to go. You know, so I think that is uh, very important. Then, you know, don't be afraid of the hassle because sometimes going to be the hassle. Sometimes going to be the flow and the alignment. But you gotta be willing to to put yourself out there. I think that's the most important thing that stops people to to do so because they're afraid of feeling ridiculed. They're afraid to choose. Just choose something and go with it. Because if you don't choose, we'll always be in the place where you are, where you are right now. Actually, even more frustrated in the future because you didn't take any, you didn't make any decisions. So. Yeah. I agree with that a hundred percent. But so if I'm going through challenges right now currently yeah. and I'm a nine to five person and I want to get into um, business, I don't want to work for anybody because I don't want to go through this again. And I want to do it on the side. I'm not going to make the transition hundred percent tomorrow yeah. morning and just go to No, I'm going to gradually first establish my business and then little by little make the transition. So my question is this, when they make that transition, would you say a coach can get you there faster versus you trying to do it on your own and learn the basics? Because I feel like a coach is gonna get you there much. The, the guidance are there. Definitely. And mm -hmm. Definitely. So well, what's your you know, I don't teach marketing. I love marketing, as I said before. I, I teach a little bit of that because that's what I do for my business. But first of all, it depends what business you're in. If you're in, in real estate, I don't know anything about real estate. But what I know is about to give you the confidence to go to sell the house and be a winner that day. I can give you the self-worth that you need to go 12 hours per day and knocking on doors. I can give you um, the direction to have a clear vision on what you're going to do. I can give you all these things and then you got to do the work. I'm not going to tell you what to do right? Because I don't know every job in the world. Or if you don't know what to do, you're at nine to five and you want to create your own business. We can figure out that together. I can see what you like, what you don't like. I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. Actually, I'm not even going to ask you anything because you can download that for free on my website on the link that I sent you. 
you can do that. And maybe if you need more guidance, we can hop on a call on a free call. I don't care. And I can help you with that to see what's more aligned with you. Yes, of course, you're not going to get rid of your job tomorrow. You've got to pay the bills, especially nowadays. But especially nowadays, being in control of your income is the most important thing because your nine to five can disappear tomorrow. If you work from home or for whatever in the world, if you have your own company, you are in charge of your life. And that's the most liberating and freeing things in the world. So that's- I agree with you 100%. Once we do the, uh, the, the edit on the video, I'm gonna put that link so individuals could enjoy it. But how can they find you on Instagram? Instagram, Monica Valero, two L's, like the gas stations, but two L's, Monica Valero. Um, Facebook as well, and uh, my website as well, Monica Valero. And that's it. That's it. My last know. question before I let you go. Please. What's your favorite self-help book? The Seat of the Soul. And uh, the power, actually, the first one has been life-changing for me. And I think everyone should read it. It's The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. And uh, yeah, and also, well, The Science of Daring Bridge. Also, that book gave me give me some fire in the butt and made me go for my dreams or what I wanted. Um, yeah. So if, awesome. if nobody ever tried uh, hypnosis, hypnosis is not what people think. You go on a stage and you're going to bark like a dog. Hypnosis is just like me and you relaxed. And I do it on Zoom so or on Skype so you don't have to be in person. So you're completely safe. And it's basically, I'm going to guide you through a sort of meditation. It's now something crazy. You go, are going to be in control all the time. Just going to be relaxed. And I'm just going to be guiding your subconscious mind through the healing, whether it's money, whether it's success, confidence, self-love, whatever it is, whatever it is that you want to heal or to achieve. That's it. Thank you so much for taking this time and being with us this morning. Hopefully we'll get to do more because we talked on some topics that I think is going to need a lot more videos than just this 15 minutes. And awesome. It will definitely be there. Thank you so much for being here. Look forward to do more. Stay safe. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.